cocky. It's how my life feels sometimes. Like it isn't mine, but some fucked up alternate reality. I'm a lucky man. You think I don't realize that? First time I killed, name was Eddie. Can't forget the look in his eyes. Beer. Hadn't seen anything like it before. Pure fear. He would have done anything to live. But I had the gun. And Cicero gave the order. Eddie's luck had run out. Guess I'm the lucky one. Jason, thank you. That was a really strong performance. You got me. I hear. We're gonna say, Jay, um, oh, do you mind if I call you Jay? Sure. Jason, I was wondering, is was that on the script that we sent you? Uh, yeah, look, it's right here. You see, you were reading the the character of Hank's dialogue. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Well, we kind of saw you more for Tommy. Tommy? Hank's uh, stoner buddy. The fun guy. I know who Tommy is, but... Dude, it's the perfect role for you, bro. I mean, we loved you in Clerks. And Clerks, too. Loved you. Loved you. Come on, dude. Pooch to the doochly moochly. Snoochly de... Sam Lennox. Excuse me? The Golden Rocket. Yeah, I know Sam Lennox. I've got a hockey stick back at my place, signed by the Golden Rocket himself. It's one of my most prized possessions. That man could hit a slap shot like no motherfucker alive. Rest of his game weren't up to much, but that slap shot. Pow! He built a career for doing one thing incredibly. That man's a fucking legend. You might want to think about that, mate. I know I do. Every time I see that stick on my wall, you'll let us know about the part. I'll let you know. All my details are on here. You get in touch anytime, day or night. Will do, thanks. And Jay. Dude, can I get a picture with you, bro? Sure, yeah, sure, of course. Oh, man, you're a fucking legend. I can't believe you are still alive, bro. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for that. Dude, you guys should do another Jay and Silent Bob movie. I mean, it's up to Kevin. This is awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, Bob, oh, yeah. Hey, I'm Jason Mewes, and I grew up in a small town called Highlands, New Jersey. You could say I was that mischievous kid known around the town, but the truth is my childhood was kind of fucked up. My mom used to drive around and have me steal from mailboxes. She was single, three kids, no money, no job. Well, at least not a taxable one. Oh, and did I mention she was addicted to drugs? I guess a shrink would tell you that part kind of becomes relevant later on. The drugs killed my mom, but that's not the story I'm here to tell. Not today, anyway. I want to talk about a dude named Kevin Smith. This motherfucker changed my life. He didn't really want to hang out with me when he first met me, but I would not leave it alone, man, until finally he started finding me funny. Well, you know it, we're hanging out all the time, reading comic books and stuff, inseparable. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. I started working in New Jersey as a roofer while Kevin had this crazy idea he could be making movies. So he went off to film school. Next thing I know, Kevin quits film school and he's using all his credit cards to make his own movie some madness about clerks and thus jay and solemn bob were born i'm jay this is my hetero life mate solemn bob i am the clint commander 15 bucks little man put that shit in my head Thank you for all your contributions.
contribution, Claire. Thank you for the chip. I know it doesn't seem like it right now, but it's gonna get better. You just have to be brave and hang in there. Yeah, everyone thinks I'm a gangster because of the roles I play, Jay, you know? You're Vinnie Jones, you're a freaking badass. I mean, you're a soccer star turned movie star. I mean, who does that? No one, Jay. No one fucking does that. I ever show you that? What, you want me to work the nipples while I cut the balls? No, fucking done. No, where'd you get that? I've never seen that. Back in the manor. All the lads held me down, Carl, Big Ben in my chest. They didn't do a bad job. It's pretty good. You know, Jay, life's not a walk in the park, mate. Could have been very different for you and me. It's very true. You know, whenever I get negative, I always... always have a look in the mirror and look at the scar, the clock, you know what I mean? Mm. Brings it all back. Keeps me grounded. Fuck my balls, it's you! Is the fat one nearby? He's probably home. Hey, mate, have you got a fat boy for me? A fat boy? Not what you're thinking. No. Oh, you beauty. Believe me, sir, you could attack Russia with this mother bitch. <laughs> I might try it, mate. Please be careful, the health and safety record is not... Cool, it's cool. It's my mate, it's his birthday next week, he loves this shit. Motherfucker! What's the matter? This motherfucker on eBay, man. You buying stuff beyond the missus' back again? This is number 69, Hardwire Activist. I want this so bad, Benny, it makes my balls burn. You can get cream for that, you know, son. Mm -hmm. How much are you paying for this fucking thing? Way too much, man. If I meet this motherfucker, I'm gonna make him eat his dog and phone. His dog and bone, you prat. Dog and bone is Cockney rhyming slang for phone. Dog and bone phone, you fucking Muppet. Wait, and what does Muppet rhyme with? Nothing! You are the Muppet! I appreciate this so much, Vin. The podcast is an hour's drive away, and I can't be late for Kevin. I will obey every traffic law. I will go to the speed limit. You get pulled over, you're going to be in jail all night, and then I'm going to have to come and bail you out. Well, my license is spent, and I can't rent a car. It's for one night. I won't tell if you don't tell. Break it, you buy it. Oh, my God, I look so old. God damn it. I hate it, man. I look like my father fucked my grandmother and had me as a baby. That's what I'm gonna talk about tonight on the show. You might wanna lighten up a little bit. You're so fucking bummed. What's the matter, little boy, Blue? It's nothing, it's... Oh, today was the audition, wasn't it? Didn't work out. They just wanted you to be Jay, right? Their casting director is an asshole. I just don't understand why they can't consider me for a serious role. They don't necessarily think of you as an actor, like the moment you walk into the room. And that's, honestly, probably my fault, because I've made you this character. No, I don't think it's your fault. You let me off the hook? Good, because I always thought it was your fault, because I based the character on who you were when you were a kid. So technically, you've dug your own <laughs> fucking Fuck you, Moves. I just want to be taken serious for once. Why don't you ask O'Halloran? He's making a movie. Brian O'Halloran's directing. He submitted a script to the studio. They went ape shit. They fucking bought it, and they're letting him direct. Uh, the Odyssey. No way, The Odyssey. I read that while we were doing Dogma, and we talked about it a million times. Dude, I'm like, perfect for the lead. Oh, okay, well look, I think the main character is very much like you. Whether or not you should play the lead has a whole different discussion. Can you talk to him for me? It'll sound better coming from you. I, I don't want to get involved. I don't want to call Brian O'Halloran. You know what happens when you call Brian O'Halloran? Hey, man, pussy, man. He talks about pussy for like two hours and shit. I'm 46. I'm done talking about that. Here's what you need to do. You got to drop science on fools. You can't just walk into a room and be like, snooch to the nooch. They've seen that shit, man. Jay and Silly Bill are over. What they want out of an actor walking into the room is commanding presence, man. Walk in there like you're the authority and drop some method on their asses. Method? All right, fucking Daniel Day-Lewis in my left foot. Remember that shit? No. All right, Suicide Squad. Remember Jared Leto? Yes. While they're making that movie, there are all these stories in the press about he was going method on it. He was trying to get into 
into the heart and soul of that character. That's what method is. Method is when an actor such as yourself just immerses themselves, puts their head straight up the ass of whatever character it is they're playing. Leto stuck his head right up the Joker's ass. Even when he wasn't on camera, he was still in the Joker mindset. And as we saw from that movie, doesn't always work, but like like Daniel Day-Lewis made it work in my left foot. Motherfucker was in a wheelchair for like 26 years prepping for that role and shit like that. I don't understand a word you're fucking saying. Matt Damon once told me about it. I didn't get it. He explained it to me, and he explained it thusly. He said, read a book. He goes, read this book, and I'm going to text you the name of this fucking book. Read this book, he tells me, and I swear to you, not only will you understand method acting, but you yourself will become a better director. And I never fucking read it. You know who did? Ben, and he won an Oscar. Is it there? Did it pop yep, up? it popped up. You're the sweetest fucking person I know in this world, honestly. Like, you've got a million-dollar heart. Nickel head, but a million-dollar heart, man. Very few people like you in the world, man. Sweethearts get killed in this business. You gotta be a badass, dude. You gotta go into a room, be the motherfucking boss. The boss? The motherfucking boss. There's the song, brother. The song, we gotta do our exercises, man. Okay, ready for this? Lion face, Roar! lemon face, lion face, ah! Dick sucking face, Now we good, let's yeah. go do this. Yep. Go get him, man, go get him. Yeah, yeah boy, yeah. yeah. Hold on, hold on. Oh. oh, I love you, go be funny, make me laugh, make me laugh. <laughs> You call yourself security. I told you I don't want to see that Latina girl or any girl for that matter. Uh, it's, it's me. I, I I talked to you online about the method acting book. Is there anyone else around? No, no, it's just me. Snooch to the motherfucking nooch. I can't believe it's really you. Wait a sec, do we know each other? 15 bucks, little man! Put that shit in my hand! Here the money doesn't show that you owe me, owe me, owe me. The money doesn't show. fall in love with me. Wait, what, what do you mean? I mean... What are you doing in my house? Oh, I came here to purchase the book, so... You wanna die, Lucas boy? What, uh, sir, I'm just... My name is Fernando Villarreal! I, uh... I... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, man. I've seen all your movies. Thanks. You thought I'd shoot you for real, huh? Well, I, I thought you were messing with me, Mr. Finthing Ethan. As if I shoot you with a chief of police's gun. <laughs> Listen to me very carefully, Muse. I cannot let this book go just to anyone. It is the only one in existence. You have to read it slowly. You can't mainline it. Cut it up with other books. Get some Chaucer, Dickens in you at the same time. ¿Me entiendes? Uh, Dickens. Y esto es muy importante. Once you read the book, you can't unread it.
It is not a guide to successful acting. It is a guide to life. Jerry, baby, you home? Baby, where you been? Just out with some girlfriends. Ah. What's that? It's Vinny's. You brought Vinny's bomb into the house? No, no, it's not a bomb, it's a fat boy. All right, I'll get the bomb. Out of the house. I tried to call you earlier. Did you fix the roof today? You do know what this means, don't you? Jay's been a bad Jay. And what happens when Jay's been a very bad Jay? I am the click commander. Oh, command my click commander. Snoochie boochie! Command my click commander. MovieStarRating.com. Type in your favorite film star to find out their rating on our charts and thus their current importance in the movie business. I'm sorry, there's no current news about this actor. Perhaps you spelled it incorrectly. What the hell? Time for drastic action. I'll show him crazy. Hollywood wants something drastic. Scare him for real. That's right. Give me that method. Method! Ugh.
Be calm. Get this out of the way. Breathe. Hazards. Reverse. I got this. Okay, okay. 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 You cool, bro? I think I might have nicked you with the car there. Anthony? Bro? Okay. Okay, Jason Mewes, you got this, man. I can method this. What are you doing? I, I was just returning your car. I mean, I... Why couldn't you wait till the morning? I just thought you needed the car back early, right? So... No, I don't need it early. I'm sorry, bro. I just... I just wanted to make sure you had it. Would you want a lift? No, nah, no, nah, I'm gonna walk the Stay lift. here if you want. No, nah, it's... Uh, my old lady wants me home to do the cuddling and stuff. Plus, she has me on this diet thing. She thinks I'm getting fat. So I'll no, walk. It's fine. No. Thank you. Fucking mother. It's oh so quiet It's oh so still You're all alone And so peaceful until You fall in love Zing boom Sky up above Zing boom It's caving in You've never been so nuts about a guy You wanna laugh, you wanna cry You cross your heart and hope to die Jason. 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 Huh. Something's happened to Vinny. Vinny? Listen. Early hours of the morning, Mr. Jones, the well-known British sports and movie star, was taken into custody. Our sources report that the charge is homicide. Jones has a reputation on the soccer field for grabbing genitalia and for his big, hard tackles. I hope you're the press. They know you guys were friends. Mr. Jason Mews, I should have known. Excuse me? I need to ask you a few questions regarding a homicide that happened in the Hollywood Hills last night. A homicide? I can't help you as I've been home here the whole night. You need to stop resisting. But wait a second. I'm not re resisting. I'm just saying that I don't know anything about a homicide. Suspect is resisting! You have the right to remain silent! <laughs> Does the name 
Anthony Costellino ring a bell? No. He was murdered outside of his home last night in an apparent hit and run. Uh, I'm sorry to hear We have that. reason to believe that there was an altercation that took place inside of his home prior to the murder. Um, what, all due respect, officer. Detective. What does that have to do with me? Vinnie Jones's car was confirmed as the hit and run vehicle. What? The neighbor was able to write down the plates right before the car sped off. We found fragments of brain and skull Buddy. all up in the grill. I guess the uh, murderer forgot to clean that up, didn't he? Well, what does Vinny have to say about it? I just got off me fucking head. Vinny is adamantly denying all charges. And the witness? We were lucky the witness said anything. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> He's a bit traumatized by the situation, but the doctor said that he'll be back in a week and. We'll be having a nice little chit-chat with him about exactly what happened that night. He probably would have blurted something out when he gave you the plates, right? So he probably doesn't know anything. Do you recognize this, Mr. Mews? That's my wallet. I've been looking for that. We found it in the back of Mr. Jones's car. You know what? Actually, it was in the supermarket. He drove me to the supermarket yesterday, and I think I must have dropped it in there. I mean... And you were driving the car? No, no, Vinny dropped me. Because you're not allowed to drive, are you, Mr. Mews? I can drive starting today. You lost your license for speeding. Finding a wallet in the backseat of a friend's car is enough reason to charge someone for murder? Should we arrest you for murder? Isn't that why I'm here? You're here because you were resisting arrest and you showed extreme aggression towards Detective Peterson and myself. You're not pressing charges? No. Well, uh, Mr. Muse, don't go far now. Hopefully not. Hey, is uh, Vinny allowed to have visitors? This guy had to go get me out of here. You got to spring me, you know, I'm being set up. I'm on my way to send here. This is getting deeper and deeper in the shit. Yeah, I might. Give us five minutes, will you? Will you? Nice to see you, mate. They brought me down too. They found my wallet in the car. I know they did, but I didn't give them your name. Plenty of things I am. One thing I ain't is fucking grass. I'm sorry to have to ask this. No, I know what you're going to say. Do you have anything to do with this at all? Yeah, that's right. I, I don't know what, what's going on here. I'm embarrassed to fucking say it. You ever heard of ex-geezer Anthony Costellino? Never. You never saw anyone around when you dropped the car off, did you? Any little detail that could help me out a little bit? And, Jay, Jay, anything? No, I didn't see anything. No, nothing at all. It's got to be something that I've done years ago and they've got the beef about it. Seriously? I'm trying to stitch me right up. They found the idiot's blood on the door fucking mat. Put my hands up loads of times. Fucking do the crime, you do the time, that's it. It's nothing to do with this, Jay, you know that. You know what, you know what? I'm gonna fix this, bro. I'm gonna get you out. What do you mean you fix it? How can you fix it? Just sit tight. What do you mean sit tight? Jay, how can... Jay! Can I speak to Detective Arnold, please? And what is it concerning? It's about the Vinnie Jones murder. One moment, please. Hi, Gina. I'm a... I know you got arrested for murder or something like that. Are you out yet? Because if you're not, whatever you are doing is not as important as this right now. Hawthorne, they just turned me down for a role last month. Oliver Radburn just called in sick. First day of the shoot. Is he all right? Oh, who the hell knows? The producer saw you getting arrested on TV this morning. Thinks you fit the role perfectly. But you gotta make it in there right now. Eva says they're holding the entire production. They're sitting around wasting thousands of dollars an hour. This is the film business. You can't waste that kind of money. Ugh. Ain't the fucking 90s. They're desperate. Is it many lines? Eva is going crazy. She says this part is a game changer, a career changer. Could steal the entire movie. You're looking at a guaranteed theatrical. This is gonna slam you right where you wanna be. Opportunities don't drop in your lap like this. 
It's the perfect storm, you son of a bitch, so don't fuck this up. Get your ass over there. I'm trying not to kill anybody on the way. Jesus, Gina. What? Too soon? Oh, God, you can't take a joke. All right, well, just get your ass down there, all right, Jason? Jason? Oh, come on, Jason! You want to see me? Are you there? Jason? Yeah, I, uh... I, um... Rob in your lap, career changer, Eva Campbell, opportunities, steal the entire movie. Don't fuck this up. Yeah, I wanted to make sure there was no bad blood between the two of us, and I was just gonna say, if I can be of any further assistant, just please give me a call, and I hope you find the real killer. Thanks. Mr. Mir! Mr. Mir! Jason, darling, that was absolutely spellbinding. Thank you. Uh, oh, are you doing your method? Uh, sorry, uh, I'll give you a moment. Harold, darling, I believed you were paying, but you forgot your cue at the end, darling. Uh, passing out, remember? Don't you believe my fucking fingers? I'm in fucking agony. I told you that blade is too sharp. May I see the blade, please? That bastard knew it as well. He's, he's enjoying this. I can see it in his eyes. Oh, for God's sakes, Harold, man up. The blade's not that bloody sharp. Lunch, everybody. Lunch, everybody. That's lunch. Three fucking years ago, oh, that fourth fucking season of the Royal Shakespeare Company. What happened? This fucking silent fucking SpongeBob thinks he's fucking Robert De Niro. Mr. Jason Mews. A word, please, sir. That was a very impressive performance, young man. Very impressive. Thank you, sir. I can see that look in your eyes. Screen it, fucking dynamite. No more snoogans for you, no, sir. This whole method thing suits you very well. It brings out all of your darkness. Oh, yes. Snoochie boochies. Snoochie boochies. Snoochie boochies. I am the Clint Commander. Jason Muse is back. Straight after getting arrested, Muse landed a role on Acupuncture Killer, and the producers are... I'm not even supposed to be here right now. Rumors are flying all over Hollywood about who Brian O'Halloran is going to cast in his movie, The Odyssey, which is due to start filming very soon. Oh. Clearly, I'm not supposed to be here right now, so leave me a message after the beep. Stan T, please? Hey, can you please, uh, maybe give me a call back or answer your phone? Thanks, brother. Motherfucker, oh, man. He's tracked you down and kicked that out. Oh, shit. Okay, it's me. It's me, Jason. Me? Who, who's me? It's Dean. Dean King! Dude, no, sh shut up. If I get caught out here, I'm gonna be signing shit for a month. Okay, you have no idea how fast these fuckers mobilize. Yeah, dude, it's great to see you, cuz, but I don't think anyone cares. You gotta broke this fucking kid's heart yesterday because I couldn't fly. You can't fly? He wanted me to take off right then and there. Serious? I shit you not. It is pretty cool, dude. You have cemented yourself into history. You play fucking Superman. I could negotiate peace in the Middle East while unifying Korea into one single harmonious state and figure out who shot JFK. And guess what they want to fucking talk to me about? That is sort of important. I've seen in my dreams. The fanboys, they're everywhere. I can't escape even when I'm asleep. I'm gonna get shot one day. And you know what the last thing is that I'm gonna see? Um, 
Zod? It's gonna be the disappointed face of some fanatic who is absolutely astounded that I can't stop a bullet. Bullets, they fucking pierce me, Jason. So I hear you've been busy lately. Yeah, dude, I just had the sweet gig, man. Yeah, that's, that's not what I'm talking about. Arrested. How's that working out for you? Really good, bro. I'm telling you, like, people have seen me in a whole different light. That's good, that's good. What do you got lined up next? Man, nothing right now, but... Jason, you have to hit now while the iron is hot, man. You need to capitalize right now. Get the roles while you're benefiting from the extra profile. I'm actually trying to get this script right now, right? It's written by Brian O'Howard. Oh, yeah, right. You know it. Dude, everybody knows it. It's the talk of the town. They're already scheduling it for an Oscar season's release. Is, is O'Halloran, is he going to hook you up? Well, I mean, I'm hoping that he's going to hook me up with the lead. But wait, did you say Oscars, bro? You... What? Have you been behaving, Jason? Of course I am. You're not back on the him, you know? No. No. Studio picture? You fucking kidding me? You think the studio is going to offer you the lead in an Oscar hopeful? Even if O'Halloran really goes to bat for you, you still got to get arrested again for the extra headlines. Wait, what? Even if O'Halloran... No, 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 about the arrest. Hey! Did I grab a quick picture? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Right. All right. All righty. Nice. Awesome. Ground it, ground it. Yeah, thank bro. you. Thank you. Yeah. Be careful, Jason. Okay, don't do anything stupid. It's not worth it. All right. Oh, that's good. You gonna get up? No, no, I'm good. I'm good here. Okay. I'll see you later, bro. Good to see you. Oh, uh, could you give me my coffee? <laughs> Thanks. The LAPD is a buzz today after news of a witness coming forward in the Vinnie Jones murder case. Information is scarce at this point, but our sources believe the witness did see the murderer and will be able to identify him. As of yet, we have no comment from Mr. Jones's representatives or indeed from Jason Mewes, who was arrested on the same morning as Jones. Stay with us as the day gets... Wait a second. I'm hearing that we've located Mr. Mewes and our reporter Oliver is with him live. Oliver? Mr. Mewes, Mewes. how do you feel about recent events regarding the murder case of your good friend and notorious ball grabber, Finney Jones? A witness has come forward to say they remember seeing the driver on the night of the murder. Wait, what? Are you now willing to admit that your good friend is a killer and never actually let go of his British gangland connections? Is it true Jones has been a secret gangland boss terrorizing Hollywood? Does Vinny get his movie roles through intimidation? No way, he is a very nice guy. What are you not telling us, Mr. Mewes? Mr. Mewes! Mr. Mewes! Mr. Mewes! Mr. Mewes! Mr. Mewes! Mr. Mewes! Many are speculating as to who it could be. I mean, it literally could be anyone. LA's a really big place. It's not me. There he is. All right. Just get a warm. Just warm. It's cool, look, hey, it's cool. I just wanted to know where Stan Lee lives. I know he lives close. I just need a little help getting to his house. Look, did you fucking move? Bro, I'll cut you, bitch. What are you doing? When they ask you if you saw me that night, you're gonna say you didn't. I, I, I didn't see you. Wait, what? No, I, I thought I saw that British soccer guy they keep putting on the news. It was dark, I, 
I I thought you were giving me a warning. I am. You're trying to kill me. No, no, you were trying to run away. You're that silent J guy. <laughs> Look what you made me do. Oh, I need 911. 911. Oh, let me get it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Fuck. I need it. And. Ambulance. Shit, dude. All right. God, I'm dying. Dude, it's gonna be okay. What, what, uh, what street is this again? It's Maple Boulevard, you fucking asshole! Holy shit, that was your face that night. It's coming back to me. I'm gonna make you fucking pay. I'm gonna tell him what you did. I'm gonna make you fucking pay, you bastard. You're looking pretty pale, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? No, no, don't, don't go, don't go away, please. Come back, call an ambulance, please. I didn't see anything that night, man. I don't know. I don't know your face. I don't know what you look like. I've never seen any of your movies. That's good. I wasn't even supposed to be here today, bro. What are you doing? What are you? No. No, 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 no. Please don't. Don't do that. Don't. Don't. Put that in your pocket. Go put it in your pocket. Put it away. Put it away. No, no, no. No, please, no. Oh, shit! Why did you do that? Look, dude, I was just here to warn you, bro. Don't come natural to me. I'm not a cold-blooded killer. I don't... I feel like... I'm dizzy. What am I doing? I was fucking actually killed this motherfucker on purpose. God, what the fuck am I doing? The fuck! Wait. He's in jail. I didn't know it wasn't him. Me. Whoa! Yeah! Dude! What the fuck is wrong with you, man? What, what's wrong with you, bro? What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Who, who are you? I have fucking nerve issues, man. You can't just randomly scream in people's faces. You don't know me. You could have killed me, man. So you're a security officer. I'm the fucking security officer. George Abrams, security officer. A security officer with nerve issues. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm a fucking, I'm a security guard machine, sir. I'm like a 365 degree radar, man. I see all the angles, dog. Can't get past me. Well, I apologize for that because I do need to see Ferengo, man. Can't do it. I have to warn him. What do you have to warn him about? There's a Latina girl and a couple of her friends and I passed them when I was coming here. Fuck. They're dangerous in a group. Yeah. Shit. Which direction? Uh, that way, about three blocks. Thanks, dude. Cool. I got your night. You know what? Ah, you step in You'll be reading it too fast. I can tell just by looking at you. What page are you on? I, I don't know, like 200. Cool. Estás bromeando, verdad, cabrón? Hey, it's not part of it. What did I tell you about keeping those feelings in check? Just, just go home, go home, sleep it off. 
Forget about the book for a couple of weeks. It's working a little bit. It's sort of working. I am so sorry, Mr. Villarreal. He, he snuck past me. You brutus mother fucking okay, okay, it's okay. It's okay. News, news. You have to relax, man. Process everything that's going on before you go loco. Hollywood, all these actors are turning it into a war zone. The way these guys covered their tracks, definitely some madness in their method. It's method in the madness, you idiot. Fair enough. You do know that Jason Muse is linked to this case, right? He is? He was arrested the same day as Vinnie Jones. But don't you know Jason Muse? Jason Muse? That smoochy boochy guy? Yeah, that smoochy boochy guy, yeah, that guy. I never met him. But boy, I heard he's a knucklehead. Well, we all can't be saints. <sighs> oh, crap, here comes the detective. Look, I, uh, I got nothing good to tell him here. You might want to... Enough said. I'm out of here. Upward and onward, Jim. Yeah, 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 onward and upward. Wayne! Wayne! Good... <sighs> good to see you, sir. Who's that? Oh, this is Stan Lee. He's the neighbor. Legend. Yeah, yes, he is. Shut up. Give me some good news. I got nothing. This guy was either professional or he was one lucky son of a bitch. Your murder weapon? My guy's in search in the area right now, but I'm gonna be honest with you, Wayne. I don't think we're gonna have positive results. This was gangland? They're not sloppy. We're not gonna find shit. Go! Fucking idiot. <sighs> you motherfucker! Something's definitely not right. Jason! Over to Oliver for all the latest. We now have confirmation that the body of the victim is principal witness in the Vinnie Jones murder case. LAPD sources are also telling us the body of the victim was found with a symbol carved into its chest. Rumor has it that this symbol is a British gangland murder tag, indicating an execution. As you can see from the police photos, Mr. Jones does have a gangland scar on his chest. Whether this links him to the murder, only time will tell. Do you really think that Vinnie had something to do with these murders? You know what? Sort of distracting myself from it all. Yeah, you know, do whatever makes you feel good. Mm. And then um, maybe while you're at it, you could fix the roof like you've been promising. Oh, I have to buy a nail gun, so. If you go now, you can be back before the party. Party? You forgot about the party. You know that Kevin doesn't want to go to Esteban's by himself. Snoochie boogies. his unlikely rise up the movie star rating charts as he finds himself back in the headlines after the Vinnie Jones witness was found murdered overnight. Yes. I'm not even supposed to be here right now. Brian O'Halloran has confirmed shooting on the Odyssey is set to begin at the start of next month, which means a casting announcement must be imminent as it seems half of Hollywood wants in on the likely Oscar contender. I'm closing in on you, motherfucker. Carrie! I'm going out to buy a nail gun. Chief Anderson. Chief, Detective Arnold here. What is it, Detective? I want to bring Jason Muse back in. You already questioned Muse and got nothing. You repeat that process, and what does this department look like to the press? Oh, come on, he's going to talk. I just need him to... Drop it, Detective. Do you understand me? All right, Chief, whatever you say, sure. He 
Hey, babe. Yes, of course. I'll be home about eight. And I have the new handcuffs. about the daily footage coming from the acupuncture killer set, exclaiming Jason Muse is doing incredible work and getting arrested was the best thing that could have happened to his career. Otherwise, they never would have thought of him for the role. Tommy, can you tell me where that Castellino guy worked again? What did I just see? Excuse me? Answer the question. I'm not your eyeballs, Jason. What were you just doing? Skyping a girlfriend. What girlfriend's that? Megan from Europe. Megan in Europe wanted to see your titties? What are you talking about? When I walked through the door, you were flashing your titties to the camera. You've been acting fucking crazy. Is this what I'm gonna have to deal with every single time you're up for some Hollywood role? I need the old J back. Solid Bob too. Fuck you. I want the man I fell in love with. It's weird you've been a little distant from him lately. Jason, you're being fucking paranoid, okay? It's me. You would love for me to believe that, wouldn't you? Where are you going? Getting ready for the party. <laughs> I'm method acting for a new role, not just run with a gun roll, all right? <laughs> yeah, but I don't... I thought you'd be here with your little Carrie. She took a separate car. She's going to meet me here, but... That better not be trouble in paradise. I'm no, sensing. No, no, that... everything's good, dude, I promise. Are you sure? Because you know you can talk to me. I know. Yeah, but I do not get, like... Are you, you sure? Know, I've been wanting to have a little chitty-chatty pool with a you. Little, a little chitty-chat? Let's do yeah, it. What's up? Uh, what I've been hearing... Is that you ain't had trouble with the ball grabber. The ball grabber? That's what they call him. And you know, I worry about you, Jason. You know that. I know. That motherfucker fucks with you, homie. I'll cut his fucking heart out. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate that. Thank you. You know what they call me, homie. Machete, right? <laughs> you know why? Uh, because of the movie? Because I got a big motherfucking machete. That's what I mean. Big machete. Harley Quinn Smith. <laughs> As I live and breathe, oh, be still, my heart. Danny, I didn't expect to see you here. Why does everybody keep saying that? Can a little girl have some fun? Are you here to pick Kevin up? Yeah, yeah I think he's enjoying my new license more than I am. Harley, so. oh my god. Hi. Hey, we can take a selfie. Of course. All right, I'm going to go ahead, all right, Harley? Bye. Uh, will you tell Dad that I'm waiting? I'm too scared to go in. I feel like I'll never escape. No problem, no problem. And remember, it's not gay as long as the balls don't touch the chin. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, nice. That's going to be a keeper. Pleasure. Nice meeting you, man. Sir! Where the fuck have you been, dude? Where the fuck have you been? Wait, what are you talking about? Don't fucking act like that. Like, you don't think I was going to fucking find out, man? Motherfucker, that shit is written all over your face, the goddamn guilt. You didn't think I'd know? What are you talking about? I'm talking about you up in that house sucking dick because I can see the cum right there. Nah, shit! Hey, remember when we jerk each other off in the pool? That's a great memory. Did you get that book? I did. I read the book, dude, and it is taking my craft on a whole nother level. It's awesome. Thank you. Right on, man. Fuck, you know what, dude? Fuck all that. Holy shit, I was just thinking. Vinny Jones, what the fuck, man? Don't shit in the pool. <laughs> Maybe he did have something to do with that casting director, you know what I'm saying? I'm serious, don't shit in the pool. Brian O'Halloran here, do you know if he showed up? Are you serious? I'm talking about fucking Vinnie Jones, you're talking about Brian? Yeah, Brian O'Halloran's fucking here, I passed him on the way in. Captain Quitteris. Oh. 
I'm gonna go talk to him about that. Wait, Harley Quinn came here to pick you up? She's out front, sorry. My fucking kid's here. Why are we sitting here telling us to get the That's fuck out of here, bitch? Jay and Silent Bob, it's been a while. Hey! hey. Thank you so much for coming to my party. Our party? Oh my god, I had a fucking blast. We've just been sitting here talking. He was upstairs having misadventures in the house and shit. But I'm gonna go. I got a, a, a podcast to record, and I got a light out of here. I got like nine podcasts. So I'd love to be in here. Thanks for having us. But, but we're just getting started. Sadly, I got my kid sweating in the car like a dog, and I should probably go before she overheats and dies. Pleasure! Pleasure! Uh, sorry to hear about the breakup, fellas. Conscious uncoupling. Jason, what do you do next Tuesday? Jason is more my friend than he is yours. You already got too clingy with Brian, and now he's leaving. Kevin just left. At this rate, we're not gonna have any famous people at our party. Brian's leaving, I gotta catch up with him. Look what you did. My famous friends mean the world to me. And you, you give the world's worst blowjob. <sighs> That's not what your father said. Not even supposed to be here today. No, 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 it's more like, I'm not even supposed to be here today. See the emphasis? is stronger at the start. I'm not even supposed to be here today. There you go, much better. And I keep all my emotions like right here on the surface. Mm. Store it now, ready for action. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it allows me to access whatever my director needs. Totally amazing. For example, um, pleasure. I like pleasure. That makes two of us. Brian, hey, what's up, baby? Oh, hey, how Jay, you? man, how you been? Good, Brian, how are you? It's been a while. Uh, how's everything since the arrest and, and all that? Well, you know what, it's actually not that bad. I've gotten some really interesting roles because of the press and the publicity. It's made it like, Oh, dude, dude, be careful with that press, yo. You know how it can turn on you, you know that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, has Kevin spoken to you about the Odyssey? You know, I'm confident we could slide you in there. And uh, just give me a chance to talk to the, to the studio. You're serious? Dude, how long have I known you? Of course I'm serious. Don't worry, Jay, I got your back. It's so crazy, dude. People are saying, even if you can convince Brian that you can carry this studio movie, he's never gonna convince the studio to let you play it. Well, I'm sorry. Dude, remember we were talking about it on Dogma so many years ago? Uh, I knew then I was like perfect for Jay, the part, Jay, dude. shit, Jay. Um, I, I didn't know that, you, were you yeah, thinking yeah. I was talking about the lead? Yeah, 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 Marcus Sterney, dude. They, they, remember the similarities between me and him and how much we were alike? Shit, bro. I, I, I was thinking more of a few lines, like, like like a cameo or something. But you don't think I'm capable? I'm capable, bro. No, 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 like... no, no. Listen, um, I gotta run. Uh, what I'll do is I'll call the studio, and I'll persuade them to bring you in for an audition or something. Yeah, an audition. Yeah, you know? Sure, yeah, yeah. Sounds all right, good. I'll talk to you again. We'll thanks. be in touch, all right? Yeah, thanks. while you're here. You can tweet it to me. My handle's at Esteban Jovi, hashtag blessed, hashtag Earth to Jason. Oh, yeah. Hi, welcome to my party. I'm talking Dude, to don't fucking touch me, I'll kill you! <laughs> Baby, you were so brave. I know. Jason! Don't forget what I told you, watch out for that ball grabber! Brian! Brian! Sir Arnold. It's Detective. What can I help you with, my friend? How exactly did you know the casting director, Anthony Castellino? 
I didn't. Uh, I think the first time I heard his name was when you arrested me. <laughs> that's that's funny. That's funny. You know why? Because I called the studio and they told me that you were in a casting with him that day. Uh, uh, I uh, well, she must have forgot. I get a lot of call, a lot of casting calls. That's just a big coincidence, right? Yeah, it must have been. I guess. No, things I don't fucking believe in coincidences, motherfucker. And when I get enough evidence on you, I'm gonna bury you and put you away for a very long time. <laughs> oh man, what the fuck? No! Oh, what the fuck, man? Sleep well, Muse. Your days of a free man are slowly dwindling. Fuck. Gina! Gina! Hey, Gina! I need to speak to you urgently. Jesus, Mary's cunt. You scared five years off of me, asshole. Have you ever thought about smoking a little marijuana? It might sell you down a touch. I need uh, some quick gigs, preferably cash, big earners. You need lots of money and fast. How about a frickin' knighthood while I'm at it, Sir Jason? I'm serious, Gina. What happened to, uh, I only want to do serious shit, no more snaggins, fucking Gucci? I just might need some quick cash for something coming up. Christ, Jason, what? Hey, do you have that lawyer's number and can I have it? You need to calm down. No, you need to get me a gig, earn that percentage. Ah! <gasps> Excuse me. Ah, ah, shit! Ah, fuck! Fuck you! What the fuck is wrong with you fucking people, man? This shit! Trying to get yourself fucking killed? You trying to get yourself fucking killed? Give me the code. No. What are you doing? Give me the fucking Five, code! Five, six, three. No, 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 no. Put it in with your fucking tongue. My tongue? Yes! Okay. Are you sure? Do it! Okay. Yeah. Huh? Open. Thanks. You're welcome. It's just straight down. Yeah, yeah, to the left. Boss, it's Detective Arnold. I need to talk to you. Chief? Hello? Hello? Breaking and entering mean much to you, Detective? I heard some distress. I was uh, justification to uh, investigate. Maybe I have justification to fire your ass. What are you wearing, Chief? I need to talk to you. Is this about Jason Mews again? Snuggas boy? He's a cool guy. Shut the fuck up, lover boy. You're not that beautiful, you know that? Baby! <laughs> my eyes, detective. It'll be like transporting yourself to an everlasting desert of the purest beauty. Fava Mago. So you really think that Jason Mews plotted and carried out a murder under the noses of the LAPD? Jason Mews was... Vinnie Jones killed that casting director and ordered the witness murder. That's it. Bullshit! Open and shut. You're obsessed, detective. Leave Mews the fuck alone or I will prosecute you for breaking and entering. Chief, you're not seeing the trees for the wood. And what are you doing with those eyes and using them as a, some sort of weapon? Stop doing that with your fucking eyes, man. All of a sudden, I feel very strange. I'm comfortable with my sexuality until this very second. I, I love you. Oh, how dare you? Fuck you! You beautiful son of a bitch! Fuck you! Fuck this. Judge Marsh, it's been a while. I'm afraid not so good, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna need to call in that Mexico favor. The system's failed me, and justice needs to be served. I've already told you, I didn't send any gangsters to kill that geezer. I don't even know any gangsters. Did I ever tell you I was English? Well, yeah, actually, I was born in England. My grandma was from Essex. I pledged my allegiance to the Queen. It's a known fact that I might even be related to the bloodline of Sherlock Holmes himself. The fictional character? 
Did you know that Muse saw Anthony Castellino on the day that he was murdered? Fucking what? He was in a casting which didn't go too well. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, call me crazy, but that's sort of a big coincidence that I thought he failed to mention to any of us. <laughs> don't you? Yeah. Are you ready for some good news finally, Mr. Jones? Go on. I've talked to the powers that be a judge that I'm quite good friends with. We had a weekend in Cabo once, but that's neither here nor there. He's decided that we don't have enough evidence to keep you here, and we're gonna let you out on bail. Behave yourself now and adhere to those bail conditions. How do they say it in England? Uh, cheerio. <laughs> Excuse me. You want more, son? Dude, let me explain for you. Come on, dude, bro. Bro. I can't believe you were gonna let me rot in that cell. Dude, dude, let me explain, Finn. Hold on. Some kind of mate you are, Jay. Jay's dead. Things have changed. <laughs> Okay? Jay, is that you? Jason? What the hell? Honey? What the fuck are you doing? Fixing the roof. In the middle of the night? What do you want me to dress up as Jay? and not fix the roof? Okay, baby, come down. You're really, really starting to scare me now. I am Jason. Jason Muse! You can sleep on the couch tonight, Jason fucking Muse. What the fuck? Yes, Jason. I'm just trying to kill me. You were gonna let me rot in that cell. And what happens when Jay's been a very bad I'm, I'm coming for you, son of a bitch! I'm
Mr. Jones failed to return to the halfway house last night. A strict condition of his controversial bail. Early theories coming out of the LAPD are that Mr. Jones used his British gangland connections to smuggle him out of the country. Attention now turns to the lead detective in the case, as it was Detective Arnold who supported Jones's bail. Hashtag bail. Hashtag fail. Hashtag bail bail. <laughs> Wonder what took him so long. Are you expecting someone? Don't worry about it. A little early to be drinking there, officer. It's detective. First step to recovery is admitting you have a problem. I know you did it, motherfucker. You're lucky you're hiding behind that badge, or I might have to bitch slap you, officer. <laughs> think you're tough? Huh? It's so tough to do, are you, motherfucker? You don't think I'll do it? You don't think I'll pull the fucking trigger? No, I'm twice the actor you'll ever be. I'm English. I invented fucking acting. I saved your goddamn career. And you should be in jail. Getting your asshole licked by a fat man in a jumpsuit. It's not the last you've heard of me, Muse. guy selling insurance. I heard yelling. It's just insurance. Right. The LAPD have launched an official manhunt for British soccer star turned movie star Vinnie Jones. He is wanted on suspicion of the murder of Anthony Castellino and for ordering gang members to put a hit on the only known witness to the Castellino murder. Police have found no trace of Jones, but they have found his rental car abandoned. Jason, who loves you, baby? What's up, Gina? Gina nailed it. Autograph show, some geeky bullshit. Event sold out. Ah! <laughs> Tomorrow, 9 a.m. sharp. They'll give you your cut, cash in hand. Boom. Ooh. Sorry, I can't make it. What? But, but you said... Forget what I said, all right? And get me a studio casting already. Jason! <sighs> I have got to fuck this guy's brains out. He is untamable. Oh. You always dress like that, bro. Word to the wise about your friend, Brian O'Halloran. Seems he's not as good a friend as you thought he was. Wait, you know about Carrie and Brian? What? You just said... I know, but Carrie? Exactly! No! Huh? Brian tried to fuck... Carrie? You. Brian, Brian fuck me? Carrie? No! no. Wait, Wait, what? How did Brian fuck me? I have it on very good authority that the studio saw early footage of acupuncture killer and they love you for the Odyssey lead especially hand-in-hand hand with Brian's own story. Some publicity perfect storm kind of deal. This can't be true. Brian didn't think that you could handle the role. He went out of his way to make sure you did not get the offer. Dude, I gotta go. Te conozco de algún lugar. ¿Quién eres? Tú sabes.
Lily reveal herself if she doesn't trust Oh, Brian! Oh my goodness, bro. Jay, hey man. Dude, I can't believe I ran into you. I was walking around outside and I just, whoa. Isn't that your car, Jay? No, it's not my car. Dude, it's got your name on the license plate. The Odyssey. Oh, yeah. Um, Jay, about that. Brian got me the role. I knew it. Actually, I called the studio, Jay, and I fought for you. I really did, man, but... They're going in a different direction. The Brian I know would say, Muse gets the lead part. Jay, I did everything I could. It's fucking bullshit, bro. Oh, we should get going. Let me give you a little piece of advice, Jason. Did you ever hear of a hockey player by the name of Sam Lennox? Fucking don't do this, please, bro. Jay, are you all right? Do you need to, like, call someone or talk it out? Or, or maybe I should... Or maybe you should stand up for your fucking friend, man. Please. I'll see you around. Who told you this? Don't lie to me. I'm not fucking lying. I'm just asking. And you know what? Lately, you're really out of fucking pocket, man, for getting the relationship and shit like that. Bro, that's fucked up. You didn't tell me, all right? Brian stabbing me in the back is one thing, but you, come on. I didn't fucking stab you in the back, motherfucker. Like, did it ever occur to you that maybe I was looking out for your best interests? Oh, how exactly? Fine. You know what? Fuck. I love you to death, okay? You're like my best friend in the world, but like... You are not a leading man. And Brian's gonna make a movie the whole fucking world's gonna see. And if you fail on that stage, man, that's huge. And it's tough to get out from under that, and it fucking hurts. When you carry a flop, you turn to fucking shit. I, I became a stoner, do you ever wonder why? Zach and Mary make a porno. So you start turning to substances, okay? That's me saying it. People are still fucking making fun of Tusk and fucking mall rats and shit like that. And my big fucking fear is that the movie flops and you're sitting around wanting to fucking dampen the pain, then maybe you fucking... Come on, you can say it, bro. We don't really want to do this, dude. Like, let's just, let me enjoy my joint. Just say it, bro. Come on, fucking say it. Maybe you start fucking using it again, all right? Maybe you fucking wind up with a goddamn 12 gauge in your arm. Maybe I gotta fucking take you to nine more fucking rehabs and watch you run out of another one and fucking, I gotta be your goddamn human parachute, save you from the fucking rock bottom that you're always trying to drag both of us fucking down to, man. I'm sorry, not for nothing, but I ain't going through that shit again, dude. I got a kid of my own. You're fucking great in my movies. Don't get me wrong, you're born to play Jay, but Fuck, dude, that's a big fucking job, and you're not that actor. So stop fucking hounding people about it. Or maybe it doesn't flop, and it fucking skyrockets, and I'm born to play the fucking Odyssey. I nail it. My career surpasses yours, and I'm not in your fucking pocket to pull out when you want. And then you put me in your movie, and my shit kills it. And for the first time ever in the history of Kevin Smith movies, the movie makes money. How about that shit? Okay, I'm like, this is so not the fucking time to even do this. Like, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm about to go do a fucking comedy show. So you know what, dude? If that's really the way you feel about shit, like, fuck off. Go fuck yourself. You know what? Go step on that. Silent Bob wants Jay to go step on that fucking joint. Man. I gotta fire that security idiot. Kevin and O'Hara are fucking working together, dude, to destroy me. What? Dude, they're trying to sabotage my career. Jason, relax, man. What's going on? I messed up, dude. I read the whole book. Oh, shit. 
I followed it step by step and it cleared my thoughts, dude. And, and at first I thought I could handle it, but then with Kevin and, and then I, I feel like I'm losing my fucking mind, man. Breathe, Jason. I'm going crazy. No, you are evolving. You're seeing the world from a different plane. The book does that to you, man. I've been there. What, what do you mean? Jason, I too was an actor, hugely popular in my home country. But I was cursed. Everybody I meet falls hopelessly in love with me. And believe me, Jason, it is a curse. So just like you, I decided to change, beat the curse. So I came to America to act, to play the bad guy, the gangster. And, and one day I met with a director late at night and he, of course, was hopelessly in love with me. And, and I had a plan. Okay, le vas a dar un sustito nada más, un sustito ya. Vamos, método, método, baby. Método. Qué pedo, no mames, qué pedo, pues que salió mal, cabrón. Salió mal, pues yo le iba a decir esto atrás de esto. Oye, sí. How do you think I met the chief? She arrested you? For the first time in my life, I was in love, deeply in love. She massaged the charges and made them disappear. For her, I quit acting and went into hiding from all who loved me. And I don't regret it for one second because it was time to give up the book, but only to the right person. I can't think straight, right? Wait, wait, Kevin, he betrayed me, he broke my heart, dude. And then oh, hollering and carrying. Jason, as long as there is silent Bob, there will always be Jay. Anything and anyone in the way of turning Jay into Jason must be dealt with. This is why I chose to give you the book. You're right. Oh, and Jason, I have a feeling this might come in useful. You're a dangerous man, Fernando. Esto se va a poner definitivamente muy interesante. Supposed to be here today. That's right, motherfucker. Carried that movie. Oh, I gotta see this again. I'm not even supposed to be here today. <laughs> Every fucking time, it kills me. big deal. I won't last long. You can forget about it, you little shit. You already showed me your titties. For my fiance. He wants that comic book so bad he'd probably blow you himself. Also, it's not the full titty unless you see the nip. I'm not even supposed to be here today. <laughs> oh, man. What the fuck? What 
is going on? It's not raining. Jesus! Jesus? Who let you in? Come on. Come on, Jesus. Look out. Oh, boy. What the fuck is going on? Okay, show me the full titty, and we have a deal. Go back inside and jerk off. Oh. 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 You like the fucking golden rocket? Carry? I know about you and Carrie, motherfucker! What about Carrie? Carrie? Jason! Uh, who the hell is that? Are you about to murder Brian O'Halloran? Look, I saw what was on the computer, right? And I saw you guys hugging at Estebans. <gasps> Jason, you asshole. I asked Brian to take you seriously as an actor at Estebans. <laughs> I told him it would mean the world for you if you got the role in the Odyssey. Yeah, the Odyssey. This is also Brian from next door. I've been bidding on that fucking comic as a surprise to you. I've been bidding on that as well. You are the other bidder. And you're that rude little motherfucker. You sit the fuck down. You were about to kill Brian for me. Not exactly, but... Well, yeah, I guess I was. Baby. Carrie. I love you. I love you, too. What are we going to do about a Halloran? Baby, he's a witness now. Well, the Odyssey's yours, man. I'm not a witness. Anything. Well, I guess you better finish the job then, Angel. You sure? No. Wait. What's the alternative? <laughs> I guess you're right. Jason, wait. What is it? Say it for me. Please. Snoogans, motherfucker! <laughs> You have been found guilty of murder in the first degree. Silence in court! Also starring in such movies as Clerks, Chasing Amy and More Rats has been called back into the court as the jury has reached a verdict. A celebrity capable of setting an example. Instead, you chose to act in a consistently despicable manner. Be it on the screen or over a podcast. The crux of the case came when DNA evidence was found at the scene of the crime. Therefore, this court is left with no choice but to impose a sentence of life imprisonment. Do you have anything to say to the court at this time? Mr. Smith? I, I, can't, I can't believe this is happening. It wasn't me, man. I'm innocent. That'll do. It wasn't the fat one. It was the skinny one. Silence! The remnants of a marijuana cigarette with traces of Kevin Smith's DNA was found on the body of Brian O'Halloran. Silent Bob wants Jay to go step on that fucking joint. Silent 
Some suggest that this murder is a result of reefer madness. As Kevin Smith was a loud proponent of marijuana smoking, it brings into question... Wait, 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 wait. I'm getting breaking news. Kevin Smith has been found guilty of the murder of Brian O'Halloran. Kevin! Kevin! Here he is! Kevin! Kevin. Move, bitch! Kevin! Kevin. Out of my way, bitch! It wasn't me! Kevin! Kevin! Kevin. Come on, man! It wasn't me! It was the other guy! Come on! Stay! Stay! I'd like to thank the detectives who worked so hard on this case to bring us a swift and just verdict. What's the latest with Vinnie Jones? And does he link to this case? The LAPD has an outstanding arrest warrant for Vincent Jones regarding two separate murders. However, latest intelligence suggests he's currently hiding in the United Kingdom amidst his extensive criminal network within the British underworld. Jason! Jason! Move, bitch! Jason, how do you feel about the court's decision? Absolutely mortified. Do you still believe Kevin was innocent? Now, I believe, you know, Kevin's jealousy over Brian Holland's career directing is a little funky, but... I can't imagine Kevin doing anything like this. Oh, Jason, Jason, is it also true that you've been hired onto what would have been Mr. O'Halloran's big directorial debut? Well, Brian and I have spoken lengths about me playing the lead in the Odyssey, and uh, matter of fact, the first time he showed me the project was on a set of Dogma. So I think I should follow through with it, and who better than Chris Nolan to fill Brian's remarkable shoes? I mean, it's going to be great, great. Jason, one last question. Jason, Jason! Mr. Arnold! Mr. Arnold! Detective. Do you not believe your presence here is a little inappropriate considering what you... Jason Muse is a criminal mastermind. Your obsession with Muse is alleged to have dated back to your unsuccessful audition for a role that Jason was offered. New goes to the snoop. Nope, next. Uh, that's substantiated and you can't prove that. You have been disgraced, thrown off the force and could face criminal assault charges after the infamous security video was leaked. And yet you stand here today, still insisting that Muse is a murderer. If I have to spend every goddamn second of the rest of my life proving that Jason Muse is a murderer, I will. I'm a descendant of Sherlock Holmes, motherfucker. I can solve anything. You hear that, Muse? I'm coming for you, son of a bitch. You cocksucking actor, motherfucker. I'm coming for you. Nothing will stop me. Absolutely nothing. Fucker. If he's related to Sherlock Holmes, then I am fucking Ryan Gosling. And let me tell you now, I am not fucking Ryan.
piece of shit! See for yourself. Why don't you have a sip? I will cut your throat, bitch. Why? You didn't see me run anyone over. I didn't see you. Wait, what? I thought maybe it was that English soccer thug turned actor. Because they keep showing him on the news, but I was blinded by the headlights and I didn't see. Whoa! I will put Back here, dude. Dude, it's me. Who's me? Dude, it's, it's Zach. What the fuck? Zach Galligan? Shh. Keep your voice down, guy. I'm gonna be signing shit here for a month. Zach, didn't you get a call? You know, this kid came up to me. What? Get a call? What? That's, that's not the line. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, we gave this part to Dean Kane. What? You gave it to Kane? Super bitch. Dean Kane, he's not in Gremlins or Gremlins 2. Zach, I gave you the part as the director. But I can do two parts. That's why I did the accent. Bro, I don't know what to say. Why don't you go watch a fucking movie? I need an ambulance. No oh, shit, cuz that looks painful. You killed that guy. You're looking pretty pale, bro. Are you kidding me? What have you got for me in the picture, huh? It's like it could be like end title sequence. Or it could be like a crowd sequence. It could be like, hey, hey Gremlin dude. You know, in the back, something like that. What do you say? We are fully casted. Kai, you gotta help me out. I need screen time. I'm trying to fucking stay in the game. All right, listen. I'll talk to my producers, Dom and Rob, and see if we can. Don't get... pawn me off, bro. I'm not. Shut up! And cut. Thank you, everyone. That is a picture wrap.